and welcome back to another video. So this, today I'll be doing uh, uh, a list of my personal top 10 uh, must-have add-ons for your Minecraft survival world. Now I won't be focusing on add-ons that change up the world too much. Uh, and I have done reviews of all the add-ons I am do I'll be mentioning in this video. But I've not done reviews of every add-on, so like Armor Plus Plus or... Uh, I did do that. Uh, air drops, not done air drops yet. Um, I think there's one more in here. No. Okay. Um, so I've not reviewed every um, add on yet, obviously. That's um, a bit uh, difficult to do because, you know, there's more every week. But yeah. Um, oh, yeah, Moors. I've also not reviewed that yet. Um, but you can find a, a, um, a playlist of all my uh, reviews of add-ons on my channel. Um, all the other review. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So, um, starting from the bottom at number 10 is... Where are you? Here we go. The Naturalist add-on. So this won't be a full review, this won't be a full review of each add-on, this will just be like give you the basic idea of what the add-on does and why it's in my uh, uh, list of favourite add-ons. Yeah. Uh, so basically naturalist add-on, it just adds a bunch of new different types of animals that can spawn around the world. Um, and it, yeah, it's just, there's just like some huge ones, there's some cool ones, there's, it doesn't add a lot, just mostly animals. Um, none of which seem to want to spawn around here. Um, but yeah, I'll just have to spawn some in, I guess. Uh, let's see, spawn. Uh, bear. Just grab a few random ones from here. Oh, <laughs> Phantoms aren't in it. From it, I've been in it. There you go. Uh, got jellyfish. Uh, let's spawn these in the water. Jellyfish. Got clams. Got monkeys. They got scorpions. And you've also got rattlesnakes, so I picked that randomly. And yeah, I basically um you know I do I do I like it because it just it does add like um Oh hey, we've got some little beards spawning here. Yeah, you know, so it, do, it does add a, add a bunch of mobs, which is good for like ambulance, ambu, get that right, amb, ambulance, bad, bad, but apparently I can't speak words good today, uh, ambience, it adds to that ambience and they're cool, and, it, and um, they do drop some stuff that can be used for stuff, uh, but it's not like uh, super like game changing, but it's cool, um, so yeah, again, I reviewed it, if you want more information, go watch the review. Yeah, that, uh, I'm just going to go on to the next one now. Mm, next up at number 9 is the XP Crystal Bank. Uh, so this is very, this is very like simple idea basically. So, bank, yeah. Uh, hold on, which one was it? Uh, the yeah, add-on content, you have the crystal bank, you have the dispenser, crystal bank wiki, yeah, you have the personal account. Yeah, so the reason why it's on here is the per the personal account one. So basically the idea is uh if I go into game I do it. The idea is you know you spend some time like uh a you know, an Enderman farm or whatever, yeah, XP farm. 
and let's say you get 30 uh, XP at P 30 L. Oh, I know it's 30 L at P. There we go. So you spend some time at your, um, you know, XP farm and you have some levels. And the, you don't want to lose that levels in case you like die or something. So what you can do, you use this, you deposit all, and then all your XP is inside the, the thing. Um, and I think uh, uh, if I go back into game mode one, what? Bank. And I want to get. I've heard. Shall. Mend. A mending book. And an anvil. I've heard that if you uh, use the bank, it'll. Uh, Repair mending mending tools. So you put down the bank. Uh, there you go. You punch it to deposit XP. So let's just dig a few blocks here. Get some damage on the shovel. Nope, it does not do that. So, yeah. yeah, that's myth busted, I guess. But still, it is handy. And also, you could use. Okay, I didn't even get exactly 30 levels there. That's odd. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'll just stick to the like, personal accounts. Well, so if you have like an XP farm and you want, you could like a public XP farm, you could also just like dump some XP into the public farm, into a bank at the public farm and then people can do it. There's also another one that works as like an end chest for XP, which is also cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's number nine. Okay, I just quick double checked them. I didn't say it was the bank, it was the XP dispenser. So let's see if it was the XP dispenser. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I did see just repaired it. Withdrawing XP. Ah, uh, I don't remember how you use this, but I did see it did uh, XP dispenser. Uh, uh, XP only allows uh, the extraction of the global XP from X in the form of experience or uh, place XP dispense on the ground. Use the experience or so from global XP. So, oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so as you saw, there we did repair the shovel. So yeah, uh, the dispenser repair does repair mending stuff, which again is would be good if you want to just store it in the bank and then use the dispenser whenever you need to like repair your stuff. And it doesn't take it all out, it takes out only a bit of the global EXP. Oh my, oh no, you have to punch it a second time to stop it. Yeah, it's been a while since I did a review for this, but it's cool. Uh, and that's why it's on the list. Anyway, uh, now this time for we will go into number eight. And at number seven, we have the backpack add on. Now, I think they might have updated this since I've last reviewed it because they added the Elytra backpack, which I don't remember there being an Elytra backpack. And they have, I, but I do know they did add the uh, armored backpack so you can basically like craft any of the vanilla armor with the backpack and get some armored backpack. So. But basically, uh, you wear the backpack, uh, oh, uh, S5, see it there, you wear the backpack, you go around, and then you shift jump, I think it is, ah, 
How do you remove the backpack? Uh, activate or deactivate backpack powers. Only crit. Ah. There you go. You use that to unencrypt it. You uh, can then right click, put stuff in it, take stuff out, and then uh, you. Uh, yeah, that's only crit. So, how do you equip it? Ah, yeah, shift right click. And then go back on. And yeah, as you can see, it's got uh, uh, the armor there. So, yeah, um, let's try the. Uh, Elytra backpack and let's go into game mode one so I can get some fireworks. Light duration one. Oh, I. I. No, and. Yeah. Ah, oh, well, let me try going into game mode zero. Um, I think it might be creative just messing it up. Oh no, you okay? A lightra backpack? You don't even need. So a lightra backpack doesn't work like a lightra. That's a bit odd. Oh yeah, and I can't remember if this was in the review or not. So I'm just hearing off here. But yeah. It is a uh, cool add-on, and uh, but uh, my like only real like complaint is that um, in some add-ons there are um, there are like uh, armor sets that require you to have the full armor set to, to gain the benefits of the armor. Like in the magical crops one, you need the full armor set to get the uh, uh, boost from it. Um, now, I don't know if they could make, make it compatible with that or something, but that would be cool, but uh, also they're a bit later games, so maybe you might not want to be using backpacks that late game. Or maybe you might to want to just go right and have right arm or something, I don't know. But yeah, it is cool. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, would uh, recommend adding it into your world because it's not super, like, there's nothing in it that's like, that would like break the economy of like a realm or anything, so yeah. Pretty cool. Um, on to the next one. Next up is the Combine Ores add-on. Now you can. This basically mean basically you can take like two ores and combine them to make get you know new ores. Like you can make armor, uh, which if you get the full set, you get an a uh, effect boost. You can make swords and tools, and then now like. Uh, you don't get any like special effect with the tools, but the swords usually have an effect as well. And there's also four new uh, weapons: uh, the, the blasters, the chakrams, the hammers, and the, the staffs. Now, I'm not really a big fan of the staffs because uh, they just take a long time to charge up. You shoot them off, and they don't really do much again. You can watch the review to get a better idea of what each uh, like. Uh, thing does because each uh, each like combination does it it has its own unique thing and yeah there are some cool uh, things that, that you can uh, craft in it and yeah it's just a cool armor um, add-on that's not super OP in my opinion anyway on to the next add-on next up is the elemental crops add-on um, so basically you can get these seeds, uh, you get air, it has earth, ender, fire, water and air essence seeds. These drop from various means such as earth from uh, mining ore, ender from killing endermen and I think also shulkers, fire from killing uh, nether mobs, uh, water from killing water mobs and uh, wind from killing flying mobs such as bees, ghasts and stuff like that. Uh, and they grow to crops, and then you can get uh, um, like wind. You get yeah essences. Uh, S and there we go. Get the essence. Uh, you get the essences uh, from them. 
and you craft the you can craft the uh, essences into uh, the into like other stuff, but you can also craft them into crystal into the essence crystals. Craft them in the crystals, and then you get two crystals and an iron ingot, and you can uh, craft them into uh, into their uh, ingots and their fingers, and you can craft them into armor and blocks, and you can. Uh, but if you keep the ingots and then you can craft and then if you get uh, 24 of each except for wind which you only need 20 and then you get and then you craft like everything but the wind boots and then you craft the armor together you get the elemental armor which is pretty strong it does take a while to get because uh oh and you also need to craft a sprinkler for the crops to grow for the elemental crops to grow but yeah once you get to the full set of armor, it gives you like speed, strength, jump boost, fire resistance, water breathing, uh, conduit power, and slow falling. And also, when you get attacked, you, the, your enemies get teleported away. Now, and this also works on players to teleporting. Um, so yeah, um, and you, uh, you also get a uh, effect from like the other armors when you get a full set of the other armors. So, but uh, this is just basically you get all of the effects from all the different armors. It is pretty cool and it does make some stuff easier to craft from, um, oh, with the essences. So if I get, get, uh, well not the S, N, if I get like a stack of essences here, stack of each essence, so one, two, three, four. Oh, right, yeah, F right there. And then get myself a craft. A crafting table. I'm going to game mode zero. And let me just quickly set time to zero. Time set to zero. Uh, you can see that like, you can like craft clay with earth, dirt with earth, sand with earth and air, red sand with earth, air and red dye. Which is just really good because sand and red sand are non-renewable, so, uh, so non-renewable. So this is a good way to make them renewable. Uh, you can also craft. Oh, but why is it showing pink dye? I don't have a weird. Uh, oh wait, craftable. There we go. You can also craft coal with four fire essences. Play balls with two. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to do the mass on that real quick uh, not right now. But uh, yeah, you can also can make feathers with wind, gunpowder with air from fire. You can make blaze rods with uh, six fire. Uh, you can make end rods with three ender essences. You can make uh, ice with four water and a snowball. You can make water bottle with water essence and a bottle. Make torches with a stick and fire, which is pretty cool, so you don't need to use coal. Um, you can make campfires with logs and egg fire essence, which is this is this will be good, like, uh, for well, no, when we go for super flies because you can't get fire because you can't get to never city me. Uh, you can get uh, sea lanterns with water essence and a torch, which uh, uh which isn't. To, this isn't bad. You can make water buckets with an empty bucket and water. Now, I remember when this add-on first released, there was a bug where you needed a water bucket and water essence to make a water bucket. That was funny. You can make phantom membranes with wind essence and a wind crystal, which is pretty good because then you don't have to fight phantoms. You can make slime balls with water crystals and the, the air essence. And you can make ender pills with air, ender essence and ender crystals, which isn't uh, too bad because ender pills can be... A Bit of a pain to get. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, the only like downside I can see to it is that um, the elemental armor is a little bit OP because it gives you like pretty good strength and like a bunch of other stuff, and everything can be enchanted. It can all be enchanted. Um, uh, and. Uh, uh, did they have... Yeah, there's a wind axe. So I don't think you can craft that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, they never did add uh, wind uh, elemental tools and weapons, unfortunately. 
Um, but yeah. But yeah, cool add-on. Uh, and definitely has uses other than just the armor. Um, uh, but yeah. Uh, on to the next one. Uh, number five is the Morph Gauntlet add-on. Uh, basically, you can shift and use any... Uh, you can unlock... Uh, a bunch of the uh, vanilla mobs. It's like the new ones, like um, Breeze, haven't been added yet. Uh, um, but I'm sure they'll update it soon to add them. Uh, and each uh, mob has like a uh, ability. Yeah, and it's pretty cool. Uh, and like, of course, flying mobs can fly. Um, and uh, yeah, it is pretty cool. Um, my only real com uh, complaint would be is that, well, I can show you here, I'm a pig, but I'm still two blocks tall. It would be cool if you, if it, if they could change your height, uh, um, depending on what mob you're transforming into. So if you're a pig, you'd be one block tall, so you, which would be cool. Uh, or like chickens and stuff, and like, um... You know, if you're like a bigger mob like the warden, you become bigger. That would be cool. Um, but I don't know if they can do that yet. I know they added like man to do that in Java, and maybe once, maybe they can't do it without it being added to bedrock or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Like again, it's it wouldn't be my number five favorite to like my number five must have add on if it was. Uh, if it wasn't very good now, would it? Would it? Um, but yeah, again, full review, and the, uh, that'll show you like most of the abilities. I, I think like the only one I didn't do in there was Armadillo, because it wasn't added in yet. Um, let's see, what does the Armadillo do? Hold the charge to roll up, yeah, that's how you use the hide form. So yeah, basically you roll up, you come super slow and you can't move, but you get uh, resistance, I think. Yeah, you get really high resistance. But yeah. On to number four. At number four, we have the damage indicators add-on. Uh, now, this uh, the reason why I added this is because it has a bunch of customization, and it, um, this won't be in in the review because this came, this feature was added after the review. But health bars, uh, and there, and this also like uh, there's also a health bar add-on. But with this, you basically have the health bar on, added on with this, and then you can like choose whether like you can have it numeric, you can have it by percentage. I prefer numeric, and you can have it like frameless or thin border, and you can have like and you can have it show on players and the uh, show when damage or when not or when the damage and not damage. Uh, so let's see, yeah, cheap over there. That's the health bar. And if I go F5, you can see I have a health bar. Why am I so low? My damage. Zero. No, I don't have weird. Uh, yeah, it's sometimes. Oh, wait, no, I do have damage. Uh, e, F, F, effect. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, because I was in like pig when I left the world. Uh, yeah. Golden apples. Yeah, you can see it fill up. It would be cool if there was like a yellow health bar when you had absorption. That'd be cool. Um. But yeah, it's cool. Just allows a bunch of customization and health bar. I do like the health bar, having health bars and all that, and just knowing how much damage you're doing. And again, it is super customize it, customizable. So you can like change the font, you can change styles, you can change the sound, you can have add hit effects, you can do. It. So yeah, really cool add-on. Uh, I would highly recommend. Well, obviously, I would highly recommend it. It's number four. Anyway. On to number three. At number three is Tinker's Construct. Um, 
Now this is uh, that, this was uh, one of my favourite uh, Java mods, and it's now one of my favourite Minecraft Bedrock add-ons. Now uh, when I did review this, it was like really broken and glitchy. But that was literally just my world, and legitimately after I uh, filmed that review, I uh, checked. I was looking at it on the nut, and like I had like filmed it, I like edited it, or I did an intro and outro, and. Uh, stitched parts together because it was so long it literally just like took like four hours to review um and then i uploaded it and it, um i was like messing around with it in another world and i realized oh it's nowhere near as broken as it was in the review um and i have been legitimately unable to recreate uh why it was so broken in my review but yeah um you don't have to worry about it being broken because but it is cool it adds a bunch of stuff. Um, I need to go into Game and Run to show you. It adds like slime slings, it adds certain, like new ores and new ways of like making tools and stuff. And it has added uh, more stuff since the add-on, so it's added uh, a way to get um, string earlier by just breaking glass, grass, and you get, um, oh here it is, you get uh, plant fiber, which you can craft into string to make it to, to make the early game easier, so you don't have to get. And you can, and it also adds a recipe to craft wool into string, which is a uh, which is uh, something that Bedrock Tweaks also does. Um, and yeah, it is the it just adds a bunch of uh, a new way to craft stuff. That's new, I've not seen that. Potion of uh, Incursion. Nice slime. I don't know if they added new potions in my have. Potions of Magma. I think they did, did, they did have potions, I think, in the review, but I don't remember much about the potions. They also had new armor, but I, if I remember correctly, um, the plate armor is basically just like, um, or it just... It all has the same protection. Uh, so if I go into survival real quick. This is a uh, plate helmet with... So this one has... Oh. This one has Manulian, this is base. So this is base one. One and a half, Manulian, one and a half. Uh, it would be cool if... Uh, um man you man why yeah it would be cool if the uh late armor had like different uh, protection that uh, depending on like how what material you use to craft it with. It's almost as good as diamond, which is fine, I guess. Uh, everything can be enchanted if I'm not mistaken, including the tools, which you can like mix and match like all the different heads and rods and all that. It also adds daggers and cleavers, and cleavers basically give you a uh, chance to for the uh, mob to drop their head, which is really cool, and it adds new heads as well. So like obviously you have the base, uh, uh, you know, zombie, creeper, and the dragon, and piglin, but it also adds blaze, cave spiders, drowns, the creator's heads, enderman heads, husk heads, piglin head, brute heads, spider heads, another one of the creators, stray heads, and zombie fight piglin heads. And yeah, it is just cool, and it, uh, the only, literally the only reason why I didn't like re-review it, um, because the original review, you know, again it was just so buggy and broken. But the only reason I didn't re-review it is because it was like a four-hour-long review, and it would just take me so much time to review it, uh, way too long to just re-review it. But yeah, really cool, and I would highly recommend. Um, and it's also gained like cross support from like um, 
essentials and uh, like vein miner and the um, I think it's also world utilities also it has cross compatibility with it which is really cool uh, and uh, yeah would highly recommend that and uh, yeah on to the uh, top two at number two we have world utilities uh, in like all my in my reviews and my update reviews, I have like emphasized about how much I really like this add-on. It adds a bunch of uh, really useful uh, things. It, not so much the explosive pickaxe; I don't really like that. But you have the end frame breaker, which which can be used to remove end frames. Uh, the spawner wrench, uh, safari net, which was added recently. You have the uh, controller, which um. You can use it to toggle various session settings on and off, such as ju tool durability, enable and disable specific tool utility is uh, preferred for playing with friends. This can only be used by players in creative mode. So if you're an admin, you can use this to enable and disable anything you want to so say. So, oh, I don't like explosive pickaxe. I'll disable that. I don't want them. Uh, I want durability on the tools. Otherwise, it's too OP. Uh, vein miner can break gravel because that's so nice. Uh, tree captator breaks leaves because that's nice. Um, you, if you don't like end frame breaker, you can disable that. Or uh, excavator shovels, or harvester hose, or miners essen uh, essentials, or multi blocks pickaxe, or the omni tool, or safari nets, or spawn wrencher, 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 or tree captator, or vein miner, or void chest, or whatever. If you, if you don't like any of it, you can disable it. Um, now, I want to talk about the uh, quickly about vein miner and Tricaptator versus the um, essentials one. In my opinion, uh, the vein miner is basically on par. The two vein miners are basically on par because with the um, with the uh, essentials vein miner. Uh, you need it. Uh, it's compatible with Fortune and Silk Touch, unlike the uh, uh, this vein miner. But uh, un but this vein uh, miner, it uh, you need to craft it. Also, where the uh, essentials one, you don't need to craft it. But with this one, um, if when you craft it, it automatically applies Fortune. But uh, if you have the if you have Fortune on your pick with essentials, then uh, it's going to apply fortune, so it's kind of pick and choose. Would you rather craft craft the vein map? This vein map will have that in your inventory, and then automatically get fortune without needing fortune on your pick, or just get fortune on your pick and save yourself an inventory slot. Um, and the tree captator, I see this tree captator as a slight upgrade to uh, the um. To the essentials one where because the essentials one has two uh, there's two reasons for it. the essentials one one does not break leaves unlike the this tree cap data and two um the essential uh, um tree cap data uh now does damage to your tools now the damage is higher than uh than it will be in the future because uh, i have been talking to the essentials there and he says you know he's going to be reducing the amount of durability damage your tools take when chopping down trees which is good because it is a bit high and he's like yeah it's a bit high uh, so yeah uh, so yeah he's gonna be changing that up in the future so, but with this uh, so yeah but with this tree captator it doesn't uh, use up durability so I see it as an upgraded version uh, to uh, the essentials tree captator in my uh, personal opinion again you can just not craft it if you don't want it uh minus essentials uh this basically uh interact item uh uh activated mine oh yeah so this uh automatically smelts the ore and that does apply fortune which is pretty cool uh mind you if you uh if you have uh, Tinker's Construct in the world, I wouldn't really recommend it because uh, when you mine the ore, you can apply Fortune to it and then uh, you get double E raw ore. And then you can take that and smelt it in a uh, Tinker's uh, Smelter, which uh, will double the ore, if I'm not mistaken. So you get double the amount of ore. So uh, if you have Tinker's Construct, that's not really as good. 
But then you also have the multi-block tool and the omni tool, the harvester's hoe and the excavator's shovel. Um, now, Essentials does have a replanting crop thing, so the harvester hoe is not that good. I, I uh, if you know, if I was, uh, uh, what I would do is I would make the harvester's hoe affect a three by three area, just like the shovel and the uh, pickaxe. Uh, but yeah, and the Omni tool is basically a shovel, uh, axe, and the, the pickaxe rolled into one, which is nice to have on hand if you need that. And uh, end frame breaker, in my opinion, is not too OP, and you can just like move your end frame to like wherever you have it, to wherever you want it. And as far as that, it's a cheap, uh, you know, just using cobweb and eggs, and you use that to pick up and move mobs. Pretty cool, pretty cheap. Um, and yeah, and void chest is basically just like you put stuff in it and it gets deleted forever. Anyway, on to my personal favorite add on, add on number one, uh, beds. And the number one favorite add on, well, my number one favorite add on for Minecraft Bedrock Edition is the Essentials mod add on. Now, if you watched my original video on this add-on, I was very critical of it because, um, in my opinion, it it, uh, it was basically the jack of all trades add-on. It was doing the, too many things, and those the things I had to did either weren't very good or were done better in other add-ons. But now, um, now after a couple of updates, uh, it had they. The creator has improved the features in it uh, quite a bit, and uh, the, the reason uh, why it's my favourite is because it does compact a, uh, a few bunch of things into one. So, into one add-on. So, like, um, it has, um, well, if I go into settings, it has, you know, Bay Miner and Tree Captator, which is uh, cool, which is cool, and I already talked about them in the previous part, basically uh, how they work. Crop replanting, basically if you have seeds in your inventory, you break the crop and it replants them. Death Waypoints, which is now, in my opinion, uh, better than the uh, Gravestone add-on, because um, uh, it fl uh, I can't remember if that was fixed in the recent bug, bit, bug fix patch, or if it's going to come out in the next update, but... Um, the death waypoints float to the top of like liquids like water and lava and the day you can change it so that keep that and in the future uh he showed me that he's gonna chip there's gonna be a way for you to change it so that the death waypoint can be set to private or public so if it's private then only uh, the person you know only the owner of it can open it and kill it but if it's uh, public then anyone will be able to open it and use it uh chunk borders um they're gonna get a texture update to to make it uh, more black, uh, colorblind people person friendly, but basically it shows you the chunk border and and if you're in a slime chunk, uh, it'll change color. Well, uh, this texture is gonna change in the next big update. Yeah, so here you go. This is slime chunk as it's gone green, but uh, next update it will change how it looks. Just letting you know that now. Uh, then you have like tree replanting, which is basically when you chop down a tree, you'll plant a sapling if you have a sapling in your inventory. Uh, breakable spawn is basically if your diamond pickaxe or better with silk touch, you can pick up spawners. Uh, particles, so you got like sand breaker, tool replacer, yeah, incinerator, lava reflow, double door opening, and automatically updating maps. Um, which is all really cool, and yeah, it is just and it just, and uh, it rolls uh, multiple add-ons into one. So it rolls in like a gravestone add-on, like a tree captator, and a uh, vein miner add-on if you want that uh, uh, an add-on for those. It uh, has uh, like crop replanting. It's a uh, I already said it's a gravestone add-on, and like you know chunk and like. Uh, you know, you can pick up spawners, so it does roll a bunch of add-ons in together, and uh, uh, and uh, so I would, this is why it's on here, and uh, this is the reason why the Gravestone add-on is no longer in my top 10, 
because this base this foot really does just replace a gravestone add on in my opinion and you also have um this remote the universal remote oh and you have admin remotes now so you can use the admin remote as a in creative mode to ena enable and disable keep inventory right now but uh, in the future this will be expanded so you can like enable and disable uh almost any feature except like crafting recipe and you can also now craft uh saddles from leather uh but yeah uni universal remote it lets you set the weather it lets you set the time of day the teleporter and player teleporter and uh, these can also be disabled in the admin remote in the next update and like settings you can like change you can turn, on, turn stuff on and off for yourself um and yeah it's really cool um and yeah it's just my favorite add-on and add -on. really if you want to if you want to have a world with add-ons on it uh, this would, this is uh, my, yeah, must have add on. Um, especially if you are playing on Switch, because uh, on Switch you can only use like, I think it's 10 or 11 before the game just crashes and refuses to load, even if you're on a realm. Uh, which is annoying, and I don't know why Mojang just neglects the Switch version of Minecraft Bedrock so much, but that's a rant for another video. Anyway. I hope you guys all did enjoy my uh, top ten add-ons. Uh, again, I've not reviewed, I've not like reviewed or seen every add-on on the marketplace. So if you have a uh, add-on that you think should be in the top ten list, drop it down below. And if I have uh, not uh, reviewed it, I'll uh, uh, you know put it on my uh, to-do list basically. But yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.